like the team has actually had time to mesh mm-hmm. is going to help us. You know, I think we got to resign J.R. Smith. Yeah. I think that's huge. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they have a chance in hell of resigning him. I really don't. I, I think he's leaning towards getting out of New York. That's what I'm hearing. Uh, See, that would be a player that would be a perfect one. Mm. <laughs> you talking about a It's hard to find a team that Jazz Smith would want to go to. I mean, like, I mean, it's, it's up to how much money he wants. You know what I'm saying? He opts out of the deal. That's the whole thing. You know the saying? money. And money. that's why Miami, Miami's, you know, handcuffed. They're handcuffed, yeah. Because all that money they got on those three players, they, they can only get, like, Borderline D League. You need to call the Nets on it. You need to call Mikel up. Uh, right. <laughs> but that's why I said specifically for the Heat. And I'm sorry to keep going back. Yeah, Greg right. Oden was sick because they're not paying. Nah, that's true. I mean, he, I don't think any other team would want to take a chance. Right. You know, uh, but back to my Knicks, man. I, 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 they got to do something, man. I mean, like, I, I didn't like the draft pick. I mean, we picked the guy in the, the second round of the 40th pick. Uh, I don't, even, I don't even remember his name. Mm. <laughs> All right, either. Papalakas. Papalakas. Yeah, and is he going to come over? Well, he's not. He's like Turkish, isn't he? Uh, he's from Turkey. Uh, in 2017. In 2015. 2015. <laughs> oh, God. A, see, that's the thing, like, in my eyes. When you look at the players in the league now, I look at Carmelo right uh, a shoe step behind LeBron. I look at Carmelo as a great player. Well, I think that he needs, personally, I feel like, he needs another guy, you know. And I, I, I like the fact that the Knicks have kept Mike Woodson as their coach. I want to see what happens when we do have a training camp. Uh-huh. Because we, let's be real, Carmelo Anthony has never went through a training camp with the New York Knicks organization. Yeah. And because the year he did come, there was a lockout. Yeah. You know, and then he, we were rushed together. You know what I'm saying? I feel that if the Knicks do have time to set up a system, yeah. you know, I, I don't think they ever got a chance to set up a system. I think that's why Mark Stoudemire failed so badly too, because yeah. he he didn't really have a place. Cause I like that I like that duo, Melo and Amari. It seems like, like you said, if you have one or two correct pieces, that's a, a, a dangerous team. Well, I think it takes a point guard, and uh, if uh, I'm. I like I would love to have Jeremy Lin back, but if he's gone, he's gone. We gotta move. But they on. need a strong two too. Like you said, J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith. We do have him on Shumper too. We can play too. Yeah. And, and he's I, coming off injury. And I like I like him on Shumper, you know, make sure he gets his injuries right. But uh if, if Jeremy Lin or if uh Steve Nash or somebody like that is the answer, you have other guys. You have uh uh Raymond Felton. He used to be on the Knicks before. I love Raymond Felton. Yeah. He's a great player. Great point guard. You know what I'm saying? Like Jason Kidd is still out there, even though Jason Kidd is probably gonna go with Darren Williams though. Right. Alright, we we don't know what's up with that whole situation. I think I, I think they should have kept Chauncey in New York. I, I, I felt that they should have kept Chauncey and put Amari Stoudemire on the amnesty. Okay. I, I I I'll say it right here folks, I'm not a fan of Amari Stoudemire. Mm-hmm. I think that he's withered, he's stupid, and he's just not playing the police contract. He's, he's in Joe Johnson status. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can get that. You know what I'm saying? I can get that. You remember when Amari Stoudemire and Sean Marion was like the biggest guys in the game at one point? The Matrix, man. Those two together, like I remember that duo. And it seemed yeah. like when they split up. And they lost to Dylan Fly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, after one, you lose Steve Nash as your point guard. Yeah, that's James that's James a big James. that's a big loss. Well, well, it was like when Amari Stoudemire first came to New York. I mean, he was putting up slews of thirty point games. Yeah, like, he was dominating. But he he had more control of the ball. And he wears yeah. down as the season goes on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it, it, it'll be interesting to see, man. There's a lot of teams. You know, shout out to the Hawks. Danny Ferry already getting talked about executive of the year. Of the uh, already, already. I I would have definitely let me make that move. <laughs> that would have been the first person I'd have got. But I'd have got, if I were the Hawks, I probably would have gotten more for Joe Brown. I, I think they got a good amount. I mean, it's not a bad deal at all. But I'm I think the Hawks really the Hawks really wanted Marshawn Brooks, mm-hmm. but the Nets weren't going to trade him away. Right. Unless it was for Dwight Howard. Right. You know, and uh, even if the Nets do want to trade for Dwight Howard, they have a lot of crap to go through. They have to re-sign up. Uh, 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 Brooke, Darren Williams, first of all, Brooke, Brooke Lopez, Lopez yeah. they're gonna be for yeah. All right, they gotta find a way. He's to, still hurt. They gotta wait to find a way to get rid of Chris Humphrey's contract because yeah. he's making ten mil. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you have a lot of pieces. I mean, like people say, Dwight Howard going to Brooklyn. To be honest, I'm looking at the checkbook. Yeah. I don't see how it could be done. Miguel, I, I said Miguel. <laughs> Miguel is gonna have to cut him a check on the side. There you go. Like, look. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, you talk about the the, the richest owner yeah. in the NBA. Absolutely. If anybody can make it happy, he can. Though. So I, I don't, I don't, 
for the past right you know but it'll be interesting man uh, uh, if they if they can pull off that trade if they can pull off that trade and they get they get Howard there with Der- Darren Williams with Joe Johnson and, and Gerald Wallace and a, a hobo off the street yeah, yeah right they're going to be a well, people, formidable team. The, the people say that Gerald Green is probably the other guy in the South Carolina. That's fine. He's a warm body. Yeah. Right. He has pause. That's it. That's I, all I, I agree with Lewis that with those they, they can do it right. Yeah. They'll be a very they, they, they'll own New York. Mm-hmm. They'll own New York. And it doesn't matter what the Knicks would do. Because, frankly, like I was telling Vinny earlier, uh, those four pieces fit together better than the Knicks pieces do. Okay. You know, Joe Johnson being the spot-up shooter, Darren Williams being the distributor, uh-huh. Dwight Howard taking care of the post, and Gerald Wallace slashing. But yeah. see, this is all in theory, though. It's all in theory. It's all in theory. It's right. all, I mean, on paper, it looks, on paper, it looks awesome. Yeah. On paper, it looks awesome. Okay. We'll know more real soon. You know, but I mean, the same thing could be said about the Miami Heat when the Miami Heat first got together. People right. thought it was going to be, oh, Chalmers, Mike Miller, uh, I mean, Wade, Mike Miller, James. I knew Mike Bond. Miller was built. People talking about people were talking about Mike Miller like he was going to be the savior. Of the I, I knew he was built to blast. You know what I'm saying? It, I, 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 I want to see it. You know, my yeah. whole thing is I, I think that if anybody, any team, could take something from the Heat this year, is that role players matter. Absolutely. Role the players biggest matter. thing for the Heat was Shane Battier. Getting mm-hmm. Shane Battier. I was huge. That was huge because his defense is stellar. And all those players that these Nets are getting, like the only guy who I know, the only two though, Dwight Howard, of course, being the center and being the block shot master. That he yeah, he's a defense player of you. You know, but besides him, you know, Jared Wallace is the only other guy who I would trust on defense. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. None against Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams is a great player. Now, I have something that I want to tell the audience that me and my father were getting into earlier. Okay. We had a little uh, uh, a debate going. Uh-huh. You know, uh, I was talking about LeBron James and how he basically can dominate on the defensive side of the ball. Right. Yeah, uh, but my dad has a different uh, way to say it. What, what was he telling me earlier, Dad? Well, I believe that if the Nets pull off this tr- this trade and are able to get those four players on the same team, that they're better than the Heat. That they're better than the Heat. Because, frankly, I believe that the Heat... <laughs> hold on, stop, stop, hold on. God, what was that face you made? <laughs> because I believe that, that the Heat have problems when they have to deal with a team that has good big men. I, I absolutely agree. And they'll have to deal with the number one center in the league. Uh, Not only that, they're going to have a top three point guard. They're going to have Joe Johnson as a number three, maybe a number three option, perhaps a number four, if Gerald Wallace gets off to a, a, a fast start. I'm not worried about Joe Johnson. <laughs> well, you're you're a Hawks fan. You you don't count. Listen, okay, I don't opinion, count. Your opinion does not count. You're you're Why a frustrated. You're a frustrated, you're a frustrated <laughs> Hawks fan. I am excited. I am no longer yeah, frustrated. You're, you're excited because I've, they've I've watched admitted. It. I've watched Joe them Johnson. get put out of the playoffs in the first or second round the past four seasons. I watched a man get a hundred million dollar contract and not play worth half of that. And I'm not objective. I think you should be more excited about Marvin Williams getting moved than than, I'm than Joe about Johnson. Both, but I don't think Joe Johnson is as great as advertised. But like I told Vincent, I dared him, and I'm daring you now. And Chris Broussard said it. Joe Johnson is a top five shooting guard in this league, and Vincent couldn't get past two shooting guards. That were that were better. Name me five shooting guards in this league that are better than Joe Johnson. Because if I went to other shooting guards, they would probably be tied with Joe Johnson, along with a slew of other shooting guards. And there are some players who you might not be able to call a shooting guard, like guys like Andre Iguodala. Well, you know, and I, and, and I agree, his contract is ridiculous. But if you put him in this scenario where he has no pressure to be the number one priority. He can flourish in this situation. Hey man, I've seen Now, I know what Scott was saying about him taking a lot of shots. He had to take a lot of shots. Zaza Pachulia is on. First of all, first of all. Ivan Johnson is on. Joe Johnson wasn't the best player on the team. Let's get that. No. No. He wasn't the second best player on the team. No. No, he wasn't. All right. Oh, no. Well, wait a minute. Josh Smith. But you got to understand the problem that the Hawks had as well is they're horrible with guards. 
because it made Joe Johnson look better because he got cast like Jeff Tweedy. Like I said again, I like Jeff Tweedy. You don't have a point guard on But he's I'm not he's not up to snuff. I knew I knew it was bad with the Hawks when uh Tracy McGrady had to come in and step up for the right when, to beat the Heat. Yeah. Right. Alright. I'd like to see and Joe Johnson. never got rid of Crawford. I'd like to see Joe Johnson with a with a point guard. You put him with Darren Williams. I agree. It'll That's be, the best backcourt be, in the East. It'd be a good backcourt, but my whole thing is, my whole thing is, if they do play a team like the Heat, all right, Joe Johnson won't be able to do anything. He ain't gonna do anything no, no, anyway. Darren, Darren, Wally, Darren Williams, as great as he is, Wayne Wade with his cranky knee, it don't that matter. Was this season, I believe Dwayne Wade is gonna come back to a throw. It don't, even with the cranky knee, Dwayne Wade was still better than anybody. He still averaged over twenty in the entire playoffs. It, he was still with a bad, with a bad knee. Okay, let's say that Dwayne Wade locks up. Joe Johnson, mm-hmm. who's going to stop Dwight Howard? Oh no no no! Dwight Howard's not going to be stopped. You're going to have to throw body that. Dude, you don't you don't really stop Dwight Howard. They, you just slow him down. They're going to they're going to do what the Hawks did against the Magic. Right. Okay? Uh, they're going to throw Jason Collins at him for four quarters. And, <laughs> <who's>, <laughs> okay. and who's going to stop Darren Williams? See, now this, Mario Chalmers. Now this is where me and him got into. Me and my father got into a little uh, disagreement. Oh, this, check if, out this scenario. If Darren Williams. Puts up a game where he's scoring 50 points, scoring 40 points, going off. What what do the Heat do when they go against a force that can't be stopped with the players that he's matched up with? They put LeBron on him. What do they do in Chicago? In Chicago, so you think LeBron can handle Darren Williams yes. on the perimeter? It's not yes. even a in the perimeter. It's not a question. Did you not watch LeBron guard just about every position in these? Players? Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, I didn't see him guard. Brian Westbrook. Oh, Russell Westbrook. Oh, Russell Westbrook. He didn't need to. He had to guard Durant. He's guarding Durant. Who's better? Well, there's a reason also why why they didn't put him on Westbrook. Why? Because he can't stop Westbrook. Boy, uh, stop. He couldn't Lou, stop Westbrook. He have had some 151. I don't know about that. Because Westbrook is not going to get shot no. over LeBron. Westbrook. Okay, okay. Are you saying, are you telling me? LeBron. Oh, no, 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 stop. Are you telling me? Would go around Are you telling me you that they're going around and are you telling around me? And slow? Listen, who said that LeBron is slow? LeBron James is, is 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 Russell Westbrook slow? Of course not. He, of course not. Who have you seen stop Russell Westbrook going to the go, who's a better, going to the rim? Who's a better defender in the NBA than LeBron? Oh man, you're talking about a who's a better that has, defender no, no. in he's, the he's, NBA hey, listen, than he's a, LeBron James? He's a first team All Defensive Player. So, oh, oh oh, but I can name one player who's a better defensive who? player. Dwight Howard. He can't not guard on the perimeter. On. Not Come on, on, man. Not on the perimeter. Now, now, listen you to this. Oil in listen, it. listen to this. As much as you would like to hype up Russell Westbrook and what he did, all right, LeBron James didn't hold him. He held, he held Kevin Durant. Let's be, let's be real about that. Okay. But yeah, also, Westbrook but also, the no, 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 no. how much of this was LeBron James' suffocating defense, and how much of that was Kevin Durant not coming up big when it mattered. I don't agree. I think that Kevin Durant. I think Kevin Durant played as well as he could have. Oh, so you think that that's as well as he could have played? When you have Russell Westbrook going to the hole every time he comes down the court, and when the you shot? have uh, yes. LeBron, yes, that's him. exactly why. Yes. And don't get it twisted. Durant was still scoring thirty points. It wasn't like he was scoring nineteen. He or was 15. scoring, but he did the best he could. I do agree. He did the best he could. But when you only have two players scoring on one team and everybody else can't score. Because the team defense is better than the team offense, that's what happens. Well, now, my contention is is that the Thunder, the the Thunder from James Harden on down, they didn't show up. They did. They didn't show. They up. didn't. Mm-hmm. Okay, they didn't. because you can't name one other player other than Westbrook that showed up during that whole finals. Now, okay, I, I, James I have, Harden himself will be sitting at this table in the mid. Then I have a problem with you saying that if LeBron James held Westbrook, that he couldn't stop Westbrook. Okay, let's say he stop. Okay, let's say no, no, that he no, does stop Darren. Let's say that LeBron stops Darren Williams, and Dwayne Wade stops. Now stop. You gotta understand, the Miami Heat aren't known for their individual defense. They're the best defensive team okay. in the NBA. If maybe okay. the only other team that I can think is better than them is maybe Chicago. Okay. You know right. that's, that's the only I other agree. team. Okay. I know? agree. But they have the best team defense. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. They have the ability to move from one person to one person to the next person to the next person. But my contention is they didn't go up against a team that would have the firepower that the Nets would have. If they have those four, now, Boston certainly I doesn't agree. qualify. I, I can agree to that. And agree that. and the Thunder showed that they weren't capable of handling it. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, a lot of people thought that the Thunder, oh, James Harden, James Harden. James Harden now was I a dick. You, now I ask you a question.